Hi everyone, it's Kate Stead here from Old Mate Media and today I'm going to do a little reading for you of our book Let the Sad Thoughts Out by my husband Chris Stead. This book is a great one for your children uh, when they are struggling to talk about how they are feeling. It's also got a little learning guide at the beginning of it which can be quite handy. This is Jake. Jake loves to have lots and lots of fun. He likes to draw pictures, dig holes and kick balls, or play with his toys and jump on his blue trampoline. And sometimes he tries to do them all at once. You can tell when Jake is happy, like when he's wrestling with his daddy. He has a big smile on his face, as wide as a watermelon except instead of seeds, there are teeth, of course, because having seeds for teeth would just be silly. Jake isn't always happy though. Sometimes the things that make him laugh make his daddy yell, and that makes Jake sad. Like the time he kicked a ball in the house. It went off the fridge, into the fan, and then knocked a picture off the wall but it was a softball, it was not an outside ball. Jake didn't mean to, honest. Jake tried to draw a new picture, but it didn't work. It was broken forever. Sometimes his mummy makes Jake upset too, like when she turns the TV off in the middle of his favorite TV show. Or his sister, when she starts a fight over his cuddle bunny. But most of the time, Jake doesn't even know why he is sad. He's just sad. That's when the sad monsters come out to party. They appear inside your head and sit on the happy thoughts to squish them. At first, there are just a few monsters, but the sadder you get, the more begin to appear. And that means less room for happy thoughts, so you just get sadder. Eventually, there are no more happy thoughts for the sad monsters to squish. So they start to push and shove and yell and scream and throw things at each other. Imagine all these sad monsters being naughty right inside your head. No wonder being sad feels so bad. How frustrating. So how do you get these sad monsters out of your head to make room for happy thoughts so you can feel joyous again? Well, little Jake has learned a very important trick. He's been practicing and practicing and practicing because practice makes perfect. And it's a lot easier than you might think. All you have to do is talk to your mum or your dad. You don't even have to know what you want to talk about. As soon as you start trying to explain your sad thoughts, the sad monsters stop their crazy party and start to get worried. With each word you speak, the sad monsters come flying out of your mouth. You can't see them, of course, because monsters are made of thoughts and thoughts are invisible. But slowly you begin to feel better and better. Eventually, all the sad monsters come out and guess what? You no longer feel sad. It's easy peasy. So next time you begin to feel a little bit sad and you feel all the sad monsters starting to party inside your head, remember Jake's very simple trick. Just talk to your mum or your dad and all the sad monsters will start to disappear. Then the happy thoughts will all bounce back. The massive watermelon sized smile will return. Your mummy and daddy will give you such a big amazing awesome cuddle and you will know everything will be all right the end that's our book let the sad thoughts out so you can find that by searching for let the sad thoughts out by chris stead on amazon or using the links in this video hope to see you soon for another book reading Bye.